Marth, maybe, but... Yeah, uh, exactly. All right, so we're jumping into this one. No Luigi's in sight, though. Right. And a quick power shield is turned off by Moondoggy. He obviously knows how to counter those projectiles. Uh, HML4 might end up having some trouble. At... Yeah, it looks like HML4 has got a good start. He's really... Oh, that's okay. a very unfortunate ST. Yeah, that was real early ST, too. That was barely 30 <laughs> seconds in. So that's not good, but HML4, pretty calm and collected. Yeah, he's got to you know, keep his composure, bring it back. He Ooh. definitely can. That was All right, really good close. spacing by Moondog. You just keeping him out, zoning him out. It's actually a really good play by Moondoggy. A lot of his stuff has been uh, reading it. Oh Ooh, my god! Wow. I'm surprised that reached. The last pixel, he just yeah. managed to grab him with that. Oh, just missed the great DI by Moondoggy just to, you know, hold down a little bit. Okay, that was a good air dodge. Yep. Like, uh, HL4 was not ready for that one. But managed to get clipped the back. Our back should be an easy edge guard. Yeah, just roll up. There was nothing that Moondoggy could do there yeah. as soon as he was down, he was down. Especially against Mewtwo. Like, even if you try to do it, Mewtwo's just got, like, you just go out there and Ooh. back air you. That, that, that actually worked Ooh, out really okay. well. All right. This should be... Okay. Uh, back on stage. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Okay. A couple of up airs. Getting Moondoggy way off stage is bad for Moondoggy. And back air, yep. This could definitely be the edge guard. Oh, oh, lets him back. Okay. Barely gets back. There we go. Ooh, still living. Great DI. Uh, that, All right, let's see. Now... Let's see if he can start down throw knee. Ooh, he went deep for that. Oh, okay. Great sweet spot by Moondoggy, but that's going to be a kill. That's a tilt. Okay, here we go. Nair. A lot of Nair's coming from Moondoggy into a gentleman. Oh. So I hear that Tony really likes to use the Shadow Ball a lot more, yeah. like, less sparingly than a lot of other Goku's, just because oh my there's God. something with, like, the recovery, right? Yeah. Like, you float up a little bit more. Yeah, definitely. Um, Tony loves to use that because it just makes Mewtwo so crazy good. Um, but Moondog actually had a great recovery there again, just offstage battle with uh, HMO4 and ended up turning around in his favor. But Moondog is getting edge guarded right now. Finally managed to land it back on stage, but it's just kind of continuing the combo. Yeah, it seems like Tony's just got a better handle on this matchup, or at least he's just got a better better handle on Moondoggy's like play style. Fast followers in the hands of Mewtwo are kind of going to get comboed by this, so that's just yeah, how life okay. uh, Moondoggy picked, but um, he's he managed to come back. Mewtwo's pretty light. Uh, one yeah. solid knee is going to send him flying, so incorrect DI is a huge thing here. Great uh, tech in. Be good in there. Oh. This uh, sets up Moondoggy to a bad spot be right here. Oh, okay. Grabs him. It's with the fucking good sweet spot. Oh, oh, he didn't down smash. Yeah, that's he was good. expecting to jump once and then grab ledge. And yeah, he just yeah. Didn't grab it, so he panicked. I would have panicked. Like, uh, that's rough. All right, so if I was Falcon against Mewtwo, so you'd want typically a lower. No, well, Falcon, I guess it doesn't matter lower ceiling with Mewtwo, but no, um, a lot of room to run around because you want to use your speed, and you want to dash dance, you know, outspace him. Uh, Mewtwo's not as fast of a character as Captain Talking, so that's a very good strength to utilize. I'd probably say he's going to want to do probably Smashville or FD. Maybe. That, that, that's, in the, that's in the category. Mm -hmm. well, then again, him. FD would be very similar to PS2, right? Just without the platforms. Yeah. And, you know, he just lost on PS2, so maybe, maybe not. But Could go to Dreamland, but that'd be kind of bad yeah. uh, in a sense. Mm -hmm. I, I don't feel would... like I, I agree with that. Could switch too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Okay. okay. Not, not bad. Yeah, that's a that's a good pick. Three, Here we go. Two, on Battlefield with Fox now. So uh, another fast faller in the clutches of mm -hmm. HML4. Uh, let's see if this Fox can put up a little bit more of a fight. Jab Shine is kind of whipping it, but really no punish going on. Ooh, this is. Here we go. Luckily for Moondoggy, uh, HML4 dips pretty low there. Not yeah, too bad, though. Yeah, good recovery and good, like, sense of mind to just, you know, jump back, side B, see what he was going to do, and not be too hasty, because with Fox, if you go into, like, Firefox or anything like that, Mewtwo could just shark you out. Right. HML4 actually, uh, kind of get a little bit of a deficit here. Moondog using his movement to his advantage here. Like, look at this crisp move. Yeah. He's really just outspacing out, you know, maneuvering me too, which is something oh, that okay. he could have done with Captain Falcon, but, you know, it's probably more comfort being a Fox main. Yeah. And look at this, the, the intense neutral from Moondoggy. He's kind of baiting on out. H14 managing to get in, though. All right. You should be... Okay. 
Gives up ledge. Shine up Ooh. smash. Yep. Nice. Or shine wave dash up smash. And okay. UD's gonna die a lot quicker than that, too. At 141, that's a relatively high percent. Yeah, advanced. exactly. Recovering high. Right. Good. Let's see if he can get this edge guard. Okay, Great gives angle. up ledge. That was fantastic. Yeah, I don't think there was much Mewtwo could have done at that ledge, but I think he was just kind of recovering uh, covering the option up on yeah, the top platform. Just, yeah. He kind of picked and choose. He was like, uh, let me cover high, and then if he goes to the ledge, you know, that's good on yeah. him. Ooh, back air just barely missing there. Yeah, HMO4 is doing a good job spacing him out with these back airs, because in this game it is disjointed, right? It's not yeah. part of the third box yet. Yeah, back air is a very good move here. All of his tilts are absolutely amazing. Okay, yeah. Oh, oops. Ooh, good oops. fair. That was a... Uh, all right, so it's expected. three to three. Um, still anyone's game at this point. I mean, Fox, you know, easily kill Mewtwo at super early percents with any, like, up throw, up air, up yeah. smash. Oh. Good recognition by Moondoggy. Uh, just getting that shield on a uh, uh, Shadow Ball here. Ooh, a little bit of a tech bub. And dash attack by Moondoggy. Good recovery, yeah. I think Tony's got to start catching on to the jump back side B. Because, if, like, if he calls that out, that would be easily a dead box. Right, let's see, tech chase. Ooh, Ooh okay. Great lead. Not the best DI, I think. I think he could have DI'd a little bit higher up, but you know, Mewtwo being so light, I don't think it would have yeah. necessarily mattered all that. But great angle. Wow, Moon Doggy. Tony, or uh, HMO4, doing a great job, but uh, Moon Doggy, yeah, he's just. Dang, hang on. It seems like this was definitely a better choice for Moon Doggy. You know, go back to Fox, make sure, like, okay, almost. Yeah, up air. I'd say one more up air, and that'll definitely do it. Double check the dash tag on that really small shield. Looks like he's probably not gonna make it back. Yeah. This one. Mm -hmm. Good edge guard. Yeah. Just roll up. All right, two slots to two. But Tony, um, pretty much at kill percent right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, Fox against Mewtwo, he's always at kill percent. You just throw him off stage, get a good read on his recovery. Ooh. Great like that. Okay. Yeah. Good guy though. 99. Yeah. Go to ledge. But like, practically anything else is gonna kill Mewtwo at this point. Yeah. Okay, oh. up throw, good choice. Falling up with a fair. Oh, and the up smash yeah. is beating on that forward smash. Gonna seal that stock. 118. Moondog getting 34 and 37 now. Yeah, whatever. Let's see if uh, <laughs> Tony can get something started. Right. You know, all he's gotta do is, uh, I mean, I yeah, know, just one big combo. Top. One big combo, and it's bad. Ooh, okay. Great read. Just a little bit chase bar. The crouch cancel shines. Great option here. Looks like Moondog is really giving Tony a tough time, you know, just starting yeah. something up. Like, he's really working neutral pretty well. Yep, yeah, that'll do it. Man, it's such a clean kill for Tony. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was very strange. It, like, clanked with the shine. Yeah. Ooh, tried to read that teleport. Almost worked out for him. Ooh, tech chase. Okay. Ooh, up air? Ooh. Not One enough. More. Trying to read it. All right, let's see. It's practically anything that Moondog... Yep, yeah, that'll uh, do it. There it is. HMO4, good stuff to Moondog, you're really bringing that back. I mean, he was, well, he was ahead the whole game, but, mm. you know, evening it up, 1-1. Uh, now let's see, as Mewtwo, I would say you'd probably want to live more, like, so probably go to a bigger stage, especially against Fox. But, you know, if he's banning both Dreamland and Delfinos, I think the next best choice would, what, be Fountain with the high ceiling? No, oh, okay. we're going to Delfinos. Yeah, he wasn't banning it. But, uh, yeah, so this stage is going to be good for HMO4. You can kind of plot out his neutral game a little bit more. Um, Moondog was just all over him last game. He did not have any room to breathe, and HMO4 had enough, so he's going to the stage. Yeah, although the one downside to, you know, going to a big stage against a faster character is they can, you know, outrun you, they can outspace you. Oh, okay, right. hit him with the Sakurai. Choice. Yeah, all right, okay. Sakurai would be so proud if he saw that LPB is like that. Like, it damages characters, I swear. That was a very offensive Asian world. But that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Up smash, Ooh, okay. though. Yep. yep. Not going to kill yet, though. Ooh, Great Doggy. movement by Moondog. You just, you know, playing around, seeing if uh, Tony overcommits to anything. Ooh, good forward smash. Cover it. Ooh. Moondog is pulling ahead bit by bit here. I think he's definitely got his, you know, comfort back, going back to Fox, and uh, I don't know, he's just got... Oh, just as we say, his yeah. comfort levels are rising, he SDs. So that's tough. Uh, HMO4 just kind of like reflecting stuff, because he can. I mean, he might as well use the move. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's free laser damage if you can just get that in yeah. at any point with Fox. Ooh, yeah, okay, no jump. 
So just like that, Moon Dog Dog is just got to stop. Yeah, he's got to hold his composure, really just not let that get to him. Because yeah. he, the second game, he was playing so much better. Yeah, just hold oh, ledge. Okay. Great job by, uh, by Moondoggy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I really think the bigger stage is really hurting him right now. Yeah, for sure. I think that it really helps Tony a lot just because he got that up smash at, what, like 99 on a battlefield that killed. But yeah. here, he lived and, you know, he got two socks for it. I mean, granted that they were SDs, but still. Yeah, like, but that's rough. That hurts. Okay, does not recover to ledge. Okay, teleport there. That ledge is really tricky, to be honest. Down throw, trying to get the tech read with the uh, tech in place up tilt, but not managing to get it. 111%, and that <coughs> should, should do it. Yeah, just roll yeah. out. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. All right, well, three stacks to one. It's not impossible, but you know it's going to be very hard, especially against a player of uh, HMO Force caliber. Yeah. You know, Good job by uh, Moon Doggy. He's kind of covering the ledge there, trying to get some kind of punish, but HMO Force recovery. Um, no problem here. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, wow. Okay. Interesting use of neutral B. That was definitely a flub. <laughs> you know, everyone here knows it was a flub, but you know what? It worked out for him. I mean, as I think, I like to think of it. If it works out, you just like you let it go. You're like, okay, yeah, that was a good use, but uh, like I don't know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, just just roll with it. It's like, yeah, yeah. Just be like, oh yeah, definitely. That's what he was going for. <laughs> Give him the benefit of the doubt. All right, HMO4, here we go. All right, it looks like Moondog is really fishing for an up smash right now. Yeah, you want to get stuck up. Yeah, okay, and that'll do it. Wow. Great coverage by HMO4. Mm -hmm. Moondoggy. And a great job by Moondoggy, but um, HMO4 manages to clutch it out. And, you know, he was really strong showing in that last game. I mean, really just, you know, he was like, all right. Okay. Oh, boy. Match? I got a match. I think so. Okay, are you